Ha ha ha! Are you little gingerbread man? You keep running. That fox will never get you. <laughs> Hello there. I wasn't reading a child's book. My name is Captain Steed Bonnet, and I am a famed pirate captain. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. I wonder if you out there know why pirates are called pirates. Yeah, it's because they are. I wonder if you know what a pirate's favourite vegetable is. It's an artichoke. And I wonder if you know uh, what a pirate's favourite letter of the alphabet is. Hmm? No, not R, because our first love will always be the sea. Now, I have been asked to come right here by my journey. They have uh, dragged me from the past here to the present to talk to you about your future, about your journeys. And I want to tell you about one of mine. You see, I wasn't always a pirate. I grew up as a farmer in Barbados and I didn't want to be a farmer. <laughs> I found it very boring. So I wanted to be a pirate instead. And people said, oh, that's very good. I suppose you'll be doing lots of planning and lots of research and lots of thinking about how to become a pirate. No, it's far too exciting for that. So I just decided to use my money to pay for people to build a boat for me. And then I hired a crew and we set sail for adventure. <laughs> and it was after all of about four or five hours, maybe, of going round and round in circles, that one of my men, my second in command, Mr. Fennec, came up to me and he said, um, uh, excuse me, Captain, but um, I was wondering if you had a plan of attack. Of course I do, Fennec, of course I do. Our plan is to be pirates. We're going to go after some treasure, some gold, silver, jewels. Hopefully the ship won't fall over and we'll all have a lovely time. OK? Uh, no, said Mr. Fennec. No, not really. Is that it? Surely we're going to train the crew. Of course we are, of course we are. I know exactly how to train the crew. I'm sure you lot do as well. You've played pirate ships before. Right, ready? The first one is climb the rigging where we do this. Ready? And climb the rigging. Go! Climb the rigging. Climb it. There we are. Get your arms up and down, up and down. Faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And good. Very good. The next thing to do is to swab the decks. That's pretending we're sweeping them. Ready? So get your brush, get your brush in your hands like this. Eh. Ready? Do the actions. Adults, do the actions. Do them, do the actions, do them. Ready? Eh. And sweep. 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 Sweep, sweep the other way. Sweep, 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 sweep that way. Forward, forward, up there for no reason. Down, round like this. There. Now the deck is all lovely and polished and a little bit slippery. A little bit slippery. Now the other thing to do is to say land ahoy and punch yourself in your own eyes. Actually, don't do that because Mr. Frederick told me um, no. Don't punch yourself, it's a telescope. Oh yes, I knew that, telescope, right, ready? Land ahoy! Ooh, 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 land ahoy, very good. And the last thing, captain's coming, when you salute, stand straight. Captain's coming, salute! <clears throat> well done. Well, after we'd done all that, I looked at Mr. Frederick and said, there you go, Mr. Frederick. Pirates train. Mr. Frenick said, no, no, we need to do more than that. We need to plan our, our attack, to plan our journey out into the sea. Tell me, please, Captain Bonnet, you've made a map. Of course I've made a map. Do you take me for a fool? Here it is. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it is now exactly, or which way round it goes. But look, I did all the colouring myself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Mr. Frenick then started to cry for some reason, and it was at that point that a great dark shadow was cast across the ship. Everyone do big eyes. Like you're scared. And then look up and look even more scared. Because up there was a great big ship, huge, much bigger than ours. And I said, right, this is the moment. Fire the cannons. And I forgot to bring the cannons so we couldn't fire them. I said, OK, fire the guns. And I forgot to bring any guns. So I said the only thing that I could say, which was bang, really loudly, but that didn't frighten anyone. So then I said, run away. And I ran, do this with your arms, run away, run away, run, run. But I was on a ship on the deck, so I just ran around in a circle. So uh, uh, Mr. Fennick said, maybe we could just sail away, sir. Sail away, it's the Enya retreat form. Yes, sail away, sail away. Ha ha ha. Let's do that. So grab the ship's wheel. Here we are. And turn it, turn it this way. Turn it that way in a big circle. We sail madly in a massive panic going all the way around into a massive fog. Those are fogs. Squint your eyes. Squint your eyes. You can't see. Move, move the mist out of the way. 
Move the mist out of the way. Flap it around like this, like this. Get the mist out of your eyes. Open your eyes. <gasps> and we sailed right into a river. And the river was shallow. And we need deep water. And as the ship sailed into the river, the bottom scraped upon the river bed and made this noise. Ready? Copy me, everyone. Ready? <laughs> We'd ruined our ship. What we should have done is not panicked. We should have avoided the fog. And then, when we went into the river, got teenier, tinier boats out the big one and rowed. Rowed the tiny boats to safety. That's what we should have done. We should have planned what we were doing, but I didn't. I was so excited about being a pirate. And I tell you what, my hearties, you lot out there might be excited as well. You might be excited because you're going to school. Maybe for the first time. If you're in reception, you might be going to a school you've never been to before. How to plan your journey. Well, you could make a map. A treasure map like this. Although this one is my treasure, which is my family. Oh, there they are. <laughs> but you could make a treasure map like a pirate, but of your journey to school. You could go with your grown-ups, whoever looks after you, on a practice to near where you're supposed to be. You could use the internet and Google Maps it, if, of course, you will have adult supervision when you're on the computer. Or you could go to your school and get a map from them before you go. There's loads of planning you could do ahead of time. Make your own pirate map and work out how to go. Also, there might be more than one way. One way you could avoid fog or bad air. Maybe the one way to go is along a main road, a massive road that goes all the way to your school, but <laughs> there's lots of horrible stinky cars and lorries on the way that are really noisy. So maybe instead of going that way, you could go maybe on a footpath or maybe a way that goes through a park where there's lovely peace and quiet and fresh air. Ah, and little birdies twittering when you can spot squirrels and nature all around you. That's much better than going on a great big horrible smelly main road. You could park and stride as well if you don't know what that is. If you have no alternative but to use a car to get to a little bit away of the school, maybe you could stop if your school has a park and stride and then walk the rest of the way. Don't just park right outside of school, go a little bit of the way in the car and then walk the rest. But you don't just have to walk, do you? You could cycle. Or you could scooter, or you could balance bike, or any other way that you've got to get to school that keeps you fit and active and your brain and body energised. If you want more information on how to get to school in a safe and fun way, then visit the My Journey website as well. That's www.myjourneyhampshire forward slash transition. Thank you very much indeed for listening to me, Captain Steve Bonnet. If you don't mind, I'm going to have to go and uh, uh, repair the ship and get down below and make sure everything's working. Ta-ta for now.